Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to define the differences between Apex and Java. But before getting started, if you really like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So in this video, we are going to define the basic differences which will be helpful to you for interviews and also it will be very much helpful if you are a Java developer but you do not know Apex, right? So if you can easily find out the differences, it will be much more easier and faster for you to learn Apex. So I have opened a Java compiler and the Apex class as well. If you want to create your own Apex class for that, you can go to this uh, setup icon and inside the setup icon, you can open this developer console. And once you are on this developer console, go to the file, new and Apex class. So this is how you can create your own first Apex class. So I've over here, I have created one Apex class and over here I am inside the Java compiler. Now, if you look into it, there is a basic difference inside the uh, Java and the Apex. So one of the difference is that this is by default. Okay, I did not do anything. So if I refresh this page, automatically I am seeing, seeing this class, right? Uh, it's nothing that I have written anything till this point. Nothing is written. So this is by default uh, instance or this is by default uh, view of your a, a Java class. Okay, so this is a Java class and this is Apex class. So at the first instance itself, you can find out that there is something called as this main. Okay, this is this something is extra. Okay, if it was not there, then the Apex and Java would be very much similar. But we have a main over here. Okay, now this you don't need to understand right now what it is like what this main is, but just understand it right now that uh, in a simple terms, it's a method. Okay, it's a method. We will understand what methods is in, in the upcoming videos. So basically, this is nothing but the method that is being provided by the Java itself. Okay, now this main method is nothing but the starting point of your code. What do I mean by that is let's understand with a real time example. You are a human, right? And we have uh, we have our brain and the other organs as well. So what happens is let's say if you have to move forward. So your brain commands to your body that you want to move forward. And if you want to move backward, left, right, whatever you do, what your brain does is brain gives a signal to each of the part of the body to move front, what, wherever it wants to. So basically, whatever actions has to be done are being defined by your brain itself. It's a starting point for each of your action. In the same way, main method is a brain of your Apex, a Java class. Okay, not in Apex, but Java class. So this is nothing but a brain of your Java class. So everybody must have a brain in the same way. Every Java class must have a main method will have a main method. If it is not, it will throw you an error. So basically main method here is nothing but acting as a brain of your Java class. So for an example, uh, system dot dot. Now we understood why we use main method. Next, let's come to system dot out dot print ln. Now system dot out dot print ln is used to print things on the screen. So for an example, whenever we go to any ATM shop, we see, okay, please enter your password or welcome to XYZ bank we provide, right? So these kind of texts that are appearing on the screen are appearing because system dot out dot print ln. So here we can see the output. So I can, instead of hello world, I can provide welcome to XYZ bank, right? We can provide this and what happens is when I run, so what will happen is this compiler, the Java compiler will look into its brain. Okay, that is the main method and inside the brain what we are trying to do, we are first trying to print welcome to XYZ bank. So if I run, you can see welcome to XYZ bank is getting printed. Next, I can also print something else. Let's say that please enter your customer ID, right? If I run it, so if you see what's happening is welcome to XYZ bank, please enter your customer ID. So what main method is acting as main method is acting as your brain and inside the brain, what it wants to do first, it wants to print welcome to XYZ bank. Next, it wants to print please enter your customer ID. So let's uh, understand it with a, a real world example. Uh, let's go to left. Now wait where you are okay and let's go right so now this main method is acting as the brain of my body so uh, hello world can this class can be considered as a 
your brain the complete body and main method can be considered as a brain and now my brain says that okay first go to the left next wait where you are next go to the right so if i print it in the sequence which i have defined inside the main method the same way the operations are going to happen inside the main method so main method basically it is acting as a brain of your java class on the other hand in apex we do not have any kind of main method so this is one of the differences between java and the apex that main method is available inside the java but there is no main method inside the apex so you might be asking okay then what is acting as a brain of your apex class how does your apex class executes or what is the starting point of your apex class so there are two three ways in which you can call your methods or the functions of your apex class that is one of the ways triggers triggers are nothing but the we will understand what exactly the triggers are in upcoming videos but one of the ways triggers next is nothing but the anonymous window so for that purpose you can go to the debug and then go and to the open execute anonymous window now here you can this this particular square box okay this is very similar to that of the main method right the this main method over here in java is very similar to that of this anonymous window okay so if the interviewer might ask you okay what is the difference between java and apex so java has a main method but apex does not has but instead of that it has anonymous window okay anonymous window is very similar to that of the main method here you can specify whatever operations you want to do for that particular apex class and it will do perfectly fine so this is one of the difference next difference inside the java and uh, apex is that in java if you have to print something on the screen you can do system.out.println okay so that's what we do inside the java system.out.println on the other hand in apex we do system.debug okay so if you want to print something on the screen we in apex we do system.debug but in java we do system.out.println so this is one of the another difference next difference is that let's say you want to take input from the end user for an example uh let's consider it this way please enter your customer id and after that i actually want to take the customer id as an input so if i want to take that customer id as an input there is a something called a scanner object you don't need to focus on that because it's more about salesforce but you sh should understand that there is a scanner object which you can use in order to take the input from the end user so in uh, next uh, step what java will do is uh, it will take the input from the end user uh, that is the customer id from the end user but that same kind of functionality is not available in apex so you cannot take the input from the end user in case of apex okay you cannot take the input from the keyboard in the case of apex but in java you can take the input from the keyboard so these are few very common differences and one of the another differences is nothing but you can import the packages inside java but there is no need to import the packages inside apex okay so there are a few packages like for an example if you want to scanner you have to use import scanner if you want to do any kind of file read write you have to import those packages but in java in apex you do not need to import anything like this and another thing is that uh, the java code does not interact with the uh, tools like a point and click tool but apex does but which is a very different thing but there are four main very much differences that is uh, the java has main has main method and uh, uh, apex does not has okay system dot out dot print ln is another difference dot print ln is one of the difference to print things on the screen another is nothing but input can be taken in case of java and last and the final one is nothing but we can import packages in java okay so this is what the basic difference between java and the apex classes so if you found this video helpful i request you to please subscribe to this channel